Hey guys, today what you're going to do for science and for the next two weeks is you guys are going to have a animal, a winter animal project. Okay, so that means that you get to pick any winter animal you want. You can pick penguins, polar bear, the norwal, you can pick an arctic fox, a snow owl, any animal you can think of in the winter time. Okay, and you have a little packet right here and it says all about and then you're going to put what animal you did right here on this line. Miss Keegan would put penguin because that's my favorite. And then it says bye down here and you're going to put your name, of course, you know. So you're going to go ahead and pick your animal and then you can do a page a day if you want to. You can sit down and do it all at once, but you have to do the research and answer the questions. And the first one is, um, this is what my um, animal looks like. So you guys can go ahead and draw a picture of what your animal looks like. Make sure you add some colors, okay? So if they have colors, add that little bit of color into them. If they're all white, just leave them all white. It's okay. And then just tell Miss Keegan what they look like. Okay. Do they have four legs? Do they swim? Um, are they fuzzy? Are they smooth like a penguin? They're smooth. They don't have feathers. So go ahead and tell me about that. The next page is it, this is my animal's habitat. And a habitat is where we live. Okay. Our houses is our habitat, that's where we live. And the animals, some of them live in the forest, some of them live in the ocean, some of them have a cave. So tell me their habitat. You can draw me a little picture of your animal in the habitat. And then right down here, you can just describe it. That means write about it. Tell me what it is, okay? My animal lives in the forest with a lot of trees. Okay, something like that. And then there is what my animal eats. So go ahead and draw me some of the foods that they eat. You can even draw me the picture of the animal eating the food. And then go ahead and just list some foods down that they eat, that they like. Do they like the grass? Do they like dirt? Do they like nuts? What do they like? All right, and then on the last page, it says, tell Miss Keegan, why did you pick this animal? So you can draw you with the animal and tell me why you picked it. Is it because it's cute, because it's cuddly, because it's interesting? So tell me all about that. So after you're done filling out all this, you guys actually get to make your animal for me, okay? Get creative, make it any way you want to. I don't care. You can make it out of Play-Doh, you can make it out of clay, you can make a painting, you could do like a diorama and a diorama is where you get like a shoe box and then you put the um, setting around them where they live and then you put the little animal inside. So you could do something like that. You can bake a cake and carve it into something into your animal. You can make it out of cookies. I don't care. You can make it out of Legos. So have some fun. I want to see how creative you can get to make your animal any way you want to, okay? You can even, if you have that animal at home and you have a whole bunch of stuffed animals and you want to hide in it and take a picture like I did, like I would do, because I have tons of penguin stuffed animals. So you can make a little zoo and you can have all your animals in your what's your animal in the zoo so have fun with it come up with something you guys have two weeks to do this okay so you have enough time to get it all done and when you're all done we're going to put it on canvas but we'll also try to have a small group where we can actually see everybody's things too so i want you to have fun guys good luck and i can't wait to see what you can do with your winter animal